Okay, so this is about intrusive thoughts. And forgive me because I have no social skills. <laughs> so, yeah. I wouldn't say that I'm trying to promote awareness about that about this because that sounds sort of cliche and overused, but this is something a lot of people have never heard of. They don't understand it. There are a lot of people who are experiencing this. They don't know it's an actual thing. They don't know what it is. And they probably think that they're crazy and completely alone in the world, and that is not true. Okay, so. Intrusive thoughts are random, unwanted, bothersome thoughts that bring great anxiety and interfere with your everyday life. Some examples would be, like, thoughts of stealing money, thoughts about how you could cheat on your partner, whether or not you love your partner, um, thinking about murdering someone, hurting someone, unwanted sexual thoughts, um, thoughts of molesting a child, etc. Just really disturbing, ugly, ugly thoughts. Um, some examples of this taking place would be like, sorry, I'm totally cheating off of the paper right now. <laughs> uh, um, a man accidentally thinking about a coworker during sex and then worrying he's gay. Um, another example would be like a mother preparing dinner. Maybe she's chopping some vegetables or something. Her child walks in the room and she, for a moment, thinks, oh, I could stab my child with this knife. Um, the difference between someone with intrusive thoughts and someone without intrusive thoughts is... We, we all have weird thoughts sometimes. We all have inappropriate thoughts, disturbing thoughts. But most of us can sort of just like, oh, I would never do that. Why am I thinking that? Or like, Ugh, like whatever. Like, um, they move on from it. It doesn't bother them. They don't obsess over it all day. They don't wonder how they could even think such a thing. It, it doesn't make them physically ill and anxious all day. Maybe even more than one day. Maybe. I don't know. Um, the more they try not to think about the thought, the more they do. Um, like, if you try not to think about a pink elephant. Like, right now, try not to think about a pink elephant. Try not to. Like, you will. You just will. That's just how your brain works. <sighs> okay. So, a huge part of obsessive-compulsive disorder is intrusive thoughts, but I'm not going to get into that right now because that's, like, a whole other topic. But I will say intrusive thoughts are, like, the root of OCD. Um, people with intrusive thoughts do not enjoy them. They, they don't like them. They don't want to think about killing people. They don't want to kill people. Um, the thoughts they have go against their moral compass. They would never do anything like that. That's why it bothers them so much. People with intrusive thoughts are the least likely to commit them. If they weren't, they wouldn't spend all day worried about it. <laughs> um, what else? It's believed the reason that these thoughts occur is because of having an overactive mind or imagination. I think it's because you might be highly intelligent, you might have a lot of ideas, you might have a lot of creativity, but 
maybe you're stuck in a place where you, you don't have an outlet for that. Maybe you're in public high school and you're not being challenged. Maybe you didn't go to college. You're stuck in some shitty job and all you have <clears throat> to do all day is, is your brain to torment you because you don't have a creative outlet. You don't have anywhere to put that energy to use that creativity and it's probably because you're depressed and you're probably depressed because <laughs> you have intrusive thoughts so I don't know why I'm smiling I don't know why I'm laughing sometimes I do that when I'm uncomfortable but yeah that's intrusive thoughts